Hi folks, it's Pastor Dave Deckard from Shepherd of the Valley Lutheran Church here with our Thursday Thoughts segment when we say goodbye to the Gospel of the Week past and begin to look forward to the next one coming up on Sunday. And this past week, we talked in the sermon about some of the differences between the power of Caesar and the identity of God. And one of the pitfalls that you can fall into when discussing these things is learning to fear or obsess about Caesar or the quote unquote powers of the world. Lots of churches will trade on this. They will invent some uh, ominous power out there that's coming to get you and you've got to fight against it and they stir you to pick up your weapons for God and go into battle and blah, blah, blah. What they don't tell you is, as soon as you've done that, as soon as you accept those as the terms of the engagement, you have become like Caesar, which is what you should fear. You don't need to fear being persecuted or oppressed or taken over. Even if that were to happen, you could still be you. But the moment you fear losing yourself to some other power and take up arms against that power on their terms, you've already lost you and your faith, whether you lose or win that battle. Don't fear being taken over by Caesar, fear becoming Caesar. How do you know? There's some pretty easy ways to tell. Number one, you're pretty convinced that your faith is about being right. It can be your intelligence, it can be your morality, it can be your doctrine or your history or your family or whatever it is, but somehow you are the center of the universe and what you think is the core of your faith. And if anybody challenges what you think, they must be unfaithful. Whether you win or lose that battle, you have already put on Caesar's crown instead of Christ's cross. Also, you find your security in winning and preserving. You go to battle in order to keep what you already have. And as long as things go your way, you're fine. But as soon as something changes, you feel like you're losing something and it's time to fight again. That is a sure sign that you are ruling from the throne instead of serving among your friends and neighbors. And finally, and most importantly, and something that we'll talk about in a couple Sundays coming up, your faith is based on fear. You fear the world, you fear other powers, you fear other people, you fear new ideas. Everything threatens to take away what you have and you operate on that fear. As soon as you do that, you've already lost to it. You either really will lose what you have and it will be confirmed true, or you will keep what you have, but be chained to the fear that allowed you to do it. Let us render unto Caesars what is Caesars. Let people fear who wanna fear, let people win who wanna win. Instead, let us reach out to each other and serve in God's name acknowledging that there are crowns in our lives that we all fall prey to, but refusing to call them the center of our faith. If you want to read ahead, we're going to be in John chapter 8, verses 31 through 36 next Sunday. We will see you at that service.